Now subscriptions for notifications expire and they need to be periodically re uh, renewed. So the following steps I'm gonna do are gonna demonstrate how you can renew uh, your notifications. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the app for a minute and let's go back to our notifications controller. And let's remove the console, give ourselves a little bit of room to work. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna add a couple new members uh, to our class. So if I scroll to the top, I'm gonna to add two new members to our class, uh, one for a list of subscriptions and one for a timer. Now, I then wanna add in a couple methods here. So I'm gonna add these right up here, right after our constructor. Now, what these two methods are going to do is they're gonna be used to basically set up a, like a background timer um, that's gonna run every 15 seconds to check and see if a subscription has expired. And if they have, then they're gonna be automatically renewed. So the check subscriptions uh, method that you see here, um, this is called every 15 seconds, and we're gonna set that up in just a minute. Um, what this is going to do is it's gonna go look for all the subscriptions, and if it checks to see if a subscription is going to expire in the next two minutes, then it calls renew subscription. What renew subscription does is it's going to it's going to renew the subscription that we it was just passed in. So it's going to take a subscription, create our new a new subscription here, or a new object, and it's going to um, add on an additional five minutes uh, to the renewal uh, from the current time. So then what it does is I'm going to use the graph client, go get a reference to my current subscription that we just got. And then I'm gonna use the update async to refresh the expiration time, All right? So it's gonna update that, that, that new time and then it's gonna go retrieve that and hold on to that expiration time and display what the new expiration time um, is going to be. Now, we need to go implement this little timer. So what I'm gonna do is go find in the get section of my code and I'm going to go add in a little bit of code right after we create the subscription I'm just gonna stick this right here. What this does is it's create, taking our subscriptions collection and it's adding our subscriptions collection uh, or adding our new subscription to the subscriptions collection. And then it checks to see if a timer exists. If it does not exist, we're gonna have a timer call this check subscriptions method every 15, uh, every 15 minutes. So now let's go ahead and test out our app. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do uh, start debugging again. So we'll let the debug uh, console uh, build our application and our debug, our app will then spin up again so we can see everything running. Let's go back to our API, our, our browser. And I'm gonna go hit the same page. Now this is gonna set up a new subscription, um, ignoring that old one. The old subscription that we created, it's gonna eventually just expire. Um, but this one, we've just now created a new one that's gonna use our new timer. So what you're gonna see is we just wanna wait for a minute uh, for a few minutes and what we should see is that even though it notices that we have one subscription and what it's going to do uh, is it's going to keep checking to see if the uh, for a get a list of the subscriptions and it's going to find to see has it expired yet and you see here that this one is actually checking uh, for to see when this subscription is going to expire so if we sat here for a little while we would see this subscription ultimately get close to expiring and we would see it get renewed um, i'm going to skip ahead so that you can see what this looks like when the renewal actually happens. So here we can see that its subscription realized that it was going to expire in the next two minutes. And so what it did is when it received the token, it received a new token uh, from Azure AD to go authenticate with Microsoft Graph. And it then went and updated the subscription to renew it, to give it a new expiration time, which is farther out in the future. So this way you saw how the process that was running was checking to see if a subscription was going to expire in the next couple of minutes and how you go about renewing it.